Hey guys and welcome back. In the previous video we saw how to create dynamic buttons that is to link external websites and external links directly in your dashboard for example like this. You click on this and it takes you to a link that I've actually embedded here inside the button. So if you haven't seen it have a look but in this what we'll see is how to make it dynamic. For example I have a table here with the titles and an ID here and every time I click on the title it takes me to, to that. So essentially I've taken this ID and made that dynamic and included that in my link so that every time somebody clicks on the link it automatically takes me there. Interested how to do it? Stick around. I'm using a movie database again. Some movie recommendations. You're welcome. Let's have a look at the table. So here I have some titles. Title of the movie. Then I have the ID. What are these IDs? If you go to IMDB you see that this is the ID here and this is a link. So essentially whenever the user clicks on the movie title, I want this ID to be replaced in this particular link dynamically and then I want click to take me to this particular page of the movie. And this is a super silly example, right? But what you could do is you could have your customer information here, let's say shipping IDs, that can be really helpful, right? So that you have a column with your shipping IDs and the link to your tracking link that you have that can be easily replaceable with the shipping ID and your users can automatically go to the tracking website to see okay what's really happening yeah as always let's um, start from scratch so I'm gonna bring in a table put it here there are two ways to do it and I'm gonna show you both let's go I'm gonna add the title here then I'm just gonna add the ID then I'm gonna go back in dimension let's just say over here i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna paste my link so this is the link that i want and i'm gonna place it here and i'm gonna say that this is my https link i'm gonna put it into single quotes and at the end you see here this is the title name this is nothing but my id so i want the id field to replace it so let me take this away and say just and id so over here this much is a string till here and then my id column just gets replaced over here right so i click on apply and now you see that i have these links but nothing happens because if you see here i can't really use it because click doesn't know that it's a link so i could go back inside over here and then representation i could say link and now if you see that this has changed into a link i click on edit again and now when i click on it it works right great but there's an easier way now over here if you see this is the entire link here i don't want it to show the entire link instead i just want to know the names over here i'm going to replace this with the names so what we're going to do let's delete this dimension and here i want this to be title good then i'm going to go back inside and over here representation i'm going to say link and what is i'm going to add an earl here and link all let's go inside and here I'm going to place my link good but as you know this particular part here is my ID so I'm going to take this away I want this part to be the dynamic part right this is the one that should change based on the different IDs for the different titles so, and we want to replace this with concatenate the ID field here done and now I click on apply and you see that this is changed into a link this is nothing but the title and i say edit and now when i click on the title it takes me here and this is the id that gets replaced with the id field here so essentially now i can just take delete this move this here and done now this becomes your dynamic links that are linked to external websites pretty darn cool right i hope you really liked it Check out the links in the description below. Really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.